I am so glad you clicked on this video and before you click away and think this is not for you, let me just ask you this one question. Do you care about your health and what you eat? If yes, this video is for you. My name is Simeon. I am a farmer of a very small farm in Sweden. We produce food, vegetables, eggs and meat and sell it directly to the customer. And today I want to talk about beef. Beef is not just all the same. For thousands of years people have kept cattle. And cattle was put out on pasture in the summertime where they ate grass and then the humans used to dry that feed for the winter time and feed the dried grass, which we call hay, to the cattle. Grain was too expensive and just for human consumption. We made our bread from that. Silage was not invented, which is a modern type of winter feed. Today cattle eats grass still, but we supplement the feed with silage both summer and especially winter time. We also supplement with grain and try to ramp up the production of the cattle. Just as much as you need to eat healthy to stay healthy, the same goes for cows. If a cow doesn't get the kind of feed that it is used to, that it is designed to digest, then it won't be healthy and the meat won't be healthy, the milk won't be healthy. The same is true for you and me. If we don't get our food that we need, we will not be healthy. As we've mentioned already, cattle eats grass and it is important for us to realize that they have a four stomach digestive system which is balanced by the right pH value inside of the stomach and the right kind of bacteria. When cattle eats grain, these bacteria get out of balance, which affects their pH value in their stomach, inside of their body, and this in turn affects the whole cow and they are not able to get rid of different diseases and bacteria such as E. coli. This causes both the cow to be unhealthy, unhappy, and not feeling well and it also affects the meat. People have died and are dying of E. coli bacteria and it is not good. Many other farmers say our cows eat just grass or silage. This to me is a better choice than feeding grain. But still it is important for us to realize that silage is nothing else than fermented grass in an oxygen free environment much like a sauerkraut process with a low pH value. And we feed fermented feed with a low pH value to cattle which they never do in nature either. Now you understand that the effect is the same that the pH in their rumen gets changed and the cow becomes sensitive to the same kind of diseases which can be transferred in the meat and the milk that we drink. Farmers today that raise their cattle on just grass and dried grass, hay for their winter feed, have become very rare. And I want to say to you Try to find a source. Go to a farmer and try to find cattle that is raised on just grass. If you cannot find a farmer that raises the cattle on grass and hay, try with silage, but I want to recommend for you as a customer to try to make that difference and try to find a farmer that feeds their cows on hay. We should treat the animals right and the cow should be healthy. If the cow is not healthy, it's wrong towards the cow, it'll be a bad product for us to eat. If we eat bad products, we are not healthy. It matters. It is very important for us to do this and to choose this. Here on the farm we work with the breed Highland cattle. This is a old robust cattle breed from the Scottish Highlands where they have been raised over thousands of years and just been exposed to the natural elements like wind, rain and cold temperatures. And this hardy breed can do excellent on just poor pastures and grass. We just feed them our grass, we move them daily, we give them hay and it takes two to three years until a um, individual is ready to be processed and can provide meat for us. Now it has been proven that the meat from the Highland cattle breed is significantly higher in omega-3 fats compared to other breeds. It has even been noticed that it has less cholesterol and more omega-3 than even chicken breasts in some tests. This is an excellent product and we've chosen to work with this breeds. The only way this works is if the customer makes the choice. You buy a cheap car or an expensive car and you know you will get what you pay for. You buy an expensive cell phone or a cheap cell phone and you will know what you get. And it's the same with food. People today spend less on food than they have ever in the history of the world. 
you need to know that both what you pay for is what you get and your health matters your body gets healed from the inside out if you care about your health I'm not talking about doctors checkups I'm talking about what you put into your body that is what gives you health the second point is that somebody will pay the price for the product it's either you and me as the customer or it is the animal and I believe that we are supposed to be good stewards and take care of our animals well Thank you for listening and I hope that you today will make a choice that is good for your children, good for yourself and good for the animals and environment.